Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy CNC. Today we're gonna do a full part on Fusion 360. I uh, hope you guys can find some sort of use out of this video. So uh, let's get started. First, we're gonna sketch. We'll select a face. Go up to rectangle. We'll go four inches by six inches. Hit enter. Then your sketch, select that face, go to create, click on extrude, Let's type in two inches. So there's the start of a block. Now let's add some features into this block. We'll go back to the sketch, select the side face, click on line, go over an inch. Go down an inch and a half. We'll create a slot here. We'll go over two inches. Go back up an inch and a half. Hit finish sketch. Now select that little square we drew. Click on create. Click on extrude. Type in minus six and hit enter. Now we have a rectangle with a slot through it. Next, we're going to create some holes on top. We'll select one of the top faces. Click on line. Select one of the edges. We'll go down two inches. We'll create a circle about 500,000, so half inch. Hit finish sketch. And what we're going to do is we're just going to extrude that one by itself, then add the other hole. So let's click on that circle, click on create, click on extrude. Let's go minus three, cut through the block, and there's a nice hole. Next, we're going to try to add that next hole on the other side. Uh, go to sketch, click on that face, click on line. We'll go up about 3.5 inches. Click on line again. We'll go over 4 inches, 4.5 inches, and we'll create another circle. We'll make this one a little bit bigger. We'll go 3 quarters of an inch. Hit finish sketch. Now we're going to extrude that hole all the way through the block. Click on that circle. Extrude. Let's go minus three inches. Hit enter. Now looks like you put a hole all the way through the block. Okay. So there's the start of our funky looking part. Now it's time to machine it. Click on design. First, let's add some fillets on these sharp edges. We'll click on all these sharp edges and we'll give them five to eight thou radiuses so it keeps them from creating a burr. Keep our customer happy. Five thou, we'll go seven thou. That'll be okay. Now, it's time to manufacture. Let's go to setup, go to new setup. To selected point, click on one of the corners, click on your Z, click on that line, and click on your X and hit flip X. Now our X, Y, and Z are all in the right direction. Stock top offset will go about 10 thou and we'll go about an eighth inch on the sides. Or we'll go about 225 thou actually. First we'll click on 2D and we'll face the part. Hit select tool, go to create tool, click on ball end mill and go down to face mill. I'll be using three inch face mill so type in three inches. Hit okay. 
hit OK again, and we'll add our speeds and feeds. These are the speeds and feeds I got from the tool manufacturer. We'll go 4,000 RPM and 40 inches a minute. Getting speeds and feeds from your tool manufacturer is probably the best way, you know, to get the most accurate speeds and feeds. We'll hit OK after checking some of the other things. There we go. Looks like it made a nice tool path for facing. So we'll add a contour around the outside. We'll hit select tool. We don't have an end mill in there, so we'll click on ball end mill, flat end mill. We'll use a 3 fourths end mill. Type in 0 0.75. Flute length on this thing is about 2 and 8. That looks good. We'll accept that. Hit OK. Next, we'll click on Geometry and select that line right there so it's going all the way around the rectangle. Next, go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com and find some speeds and feet. We'll pretend this uh, rectangle is 1018 steel. So, we're at 1018. We find the coded carbide end mill section. Type in 275. Surface feet, tool diameter, three quarters of an inch, number of teeth. Pretend it's a five tooth end mill, feet per tooth, three thou. Fifty thou inch per rev, 1400 RPM. Okay, so there's our speeds and feeds. We go back to Fusion, but we just type it in. Twenty one inches a minute. Okay, that looks good. Now I'll go to geometry, check that out. That looks good. Now it's passes. Now we have to think do we want to do multiple roughing passes? We definitely want to do a finish pass. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. Do a five thousand finish pass last. And we'll add some roughing passes, just because it's steel, and we'll take it easy on the end mill. Maximum step over, I'm thinking 62 thou. Okay. Hit OK. There we go. Next, we'll do adaptive clearing for the slot. Let's we'll go to geometry, click on pocket selections and select that bottom face. Next we'll go to passes, axial stock to leave, we'll set to zero, radial we'll set to five, and we'll add some finish passes after the adaptive clearing. So it generated a tool path there. We're going to go back into edit, back into passes, and we're going to change the optimal load from 300 thou to about 100 thou. 300 thou might have been a little too much. So there we go, regenerate the toolpath. Now we're going to duplicate our previous contour, move it to after the adaptive clearing. Next we're going to edit that contour. Go to geometry, deselect the previous contour, and select the sides of the slot. So we'll select that side. We'll select that side. That looks good. We'll go to passes, number of finished passes, two. We'll turn off roughing passes because it's already roughed out by the adaptive clearing. So it's just going to finish it. So that looks good. Give those inner walls a nice finish. Next, it's time to drill those holes on top. So we're going to create a tool. After we select those two holes, go to select tool, go up to create, click on ball end mill, go down to spot drill. So we're going to spot drill these two holes before we drill them. And we'll do one inch spot drill. So you can do that three fourths hole and the half inch hole. We created it. We hit OK. Now we go to heights, go down to bottom height, click on hole bottom, and click on two chamfer width. 
and we'll give it a 10,000 chamfer. Okay. Next, go to Tool. Now we're going to find some speeds and feeds. We'll pretend it's a high speed spot drill, spot drilling 1018 steel. So we'll type in one inch tool diameter, type in the rest of our info. One thou. It's about 250 RPM and three inches a minute. Okay, that looks good. Go to geometry check out everything everything checks out looks like it created some nice tool paths there we'll inspect that hole double check its size so it's three fourths diameter so 0 0.75 we'll go to drill we'll select that hole and we'll create a three quarter inch drill so click on ball and mill go down to drill diameter three quarters so 0 0.75 We'll accept that. Hit OK. Tool for that looks OK. Now time for some speeds and feeds. We'll pretend it's a high speed drill and it's for 1018 steel. So we'll type in three quarters of an inch, 65 surface feet, 331 RPM, 10 thou inch, inch per rev. So it's 331 RPM in three inches a minute. So we'll type that back into our fusion. We tracked around 20, that looks okay. 40, that's fine too. Heights, we'll scroll down, we'll do drill tip through part. We'll make it a chip breaking cycle. The pecs will be about 50 thou. And after four pecs, it will retract. So after 200 thou down, it will retract. Next, we're gonna do that other hole by clicking on our previous drill and duplicating it. Now we're going to edit that uh, drill, deselect that fit, that hole and select the other hole. Go to tool. First we'll have to inspect it. So that's a half inch. Okay. So we'll click on that drill we just duplicated, edit it, deselect that old hole, click on the new one, go to tool, Click on select tool and we'll create a new tool because we don't want to use too big of a drill. So we go to create drill, half inch drill. We'll adjust our length of our drill real quick. Okay. That looks good. We just created a tool. Now, time for some speeds and feeds for our half inch high speed drill. Type in half an inch, spindle speed 497, cutting feed in inch per rev is about 8 thou. Okay, spindle speed 497, plunge 4, retract 40. Okay, drill tip through, that's looking good. Cycle, chip breaking, 50 thou pecs, retract after 200 thou. Click OK. There's our second drill cycle. Next, we just need a chamfer it, and we'll be all done with this side. So, we select a tool. We don't have a chamfer mill, so we have to create one. Click on ball end mill. Go down to chamfer mill. Diameter, quarter inch. Tip diameter. 5 thou, pretty common chamfer mill, click OK, go to geometry, select that face, change the air direction and select this face, OK, that looks good, go to passes, change chamfer width to about 20, 40 thou is a little bit heavy, now go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com, Now I type the speeds and feeds into the high speed drill section here, which is wrong, but we go back and fix it.
right here is where I noticed about four inches a minute is way too slow for a quarter inch on a mill in 1018. So I check, I see that it's wrong. We go back up to end mills and we type in our quarter inch chamfer tool info here. Four teeth. One thou, four inches per rev, 4,202 RPM. Okay, cutting feed is 16, 16 inches a minute, 16 inches a minute, okay. Geometry, that's looking good, heights, passes. Linking, that's all looking good. And it generated a nice toolpath. So next, all we have to do is simulate it. Make sure nothing crazy is happening. Click on simulate. Let's turn stock on. Now we just get a watch. Okay, so it's facing it. That's looking good. Contouring around the outside. Looking good. 62 thou per pass with a finish pass at the end of oh, 5 thou, that's looking good. Next is going to do adaptive clearing for that slot. 100 thou optimal load, so about 100 thou passes. That's looking good. So you could try to crank it up to 200 thou per pass, but with 1018 steel, it may chatter, it may beat up your end mill. So I would say start a little bit lower and work your way up. Okay, so it's almost done there. Now it's finishing that slot. Give it a nice finish right there. Next, spot drill both those holes. Now it's drilling with that three quarter inch drill. It's looking good. Now it's drilling with a half inch drill, 50 thou pecs, retracting after 200 thou. Chamfer mill, chamfer mill. Just like that, we're done. There's our, our simple Fusion 360 part. I hope you guys can find some sort of use out of this. Uh, subscribe for more daily Fusion 360 tutorials, and uh, I'll catch you later.